I feel so blessed to be here, being half Mexican, growing up in Chicago. Sometimes I'm in LA and I'm like, you guys got some good tacos, but I don't know, there's some spots in Chicago. And, and they don't believe you, right? And they don't, they don't believe you. The music you. stops. Them. No! What is up, y'all? It's your boy Eli, and we are in Chicago, a place I called home for many, many years. And I'm on with my homies, Vico and Javier. And we got J-Lo, the hipster Jesus, in the back. It is raining right now, and I'm not wearing a jacket, which shows I've been in Chicago in a hot minute. But we are in Pilsen, one of the most prominent areas for Mexicans out here in Chicago. And we're gonna have some cool eats, talk about the experience. And our first stop is La Vaca. Moo La Vaca, let's go. Hi, I'm Ivan. I'm Carmen Gutierrez, and we're at La Vaca. La Vaca, La Vaca Margarita Bar. We rebranded it six years ago, but the actual business has been in our family for 50 years. So we grew up in Pilsen, and so we really wanted to make the restaurant like a home for Mexican people. So we have our food here, drinks, our culture, our art, music. So this is really a place where Mexicans can come, hang out, have a great time, and feel like they're in Mexico, in Chicago, when it's cold. So we do have a bunch of margaritas, anywhere from strawberry, cucumber, passion fruit, mango con chile. My personal favorite one is the cucumber margarita, fresh crushed cucumber, lime juice, tequila. So our grandparents owned this restaurant since the 70s. It was called Cuernavaca. Five, six years ago, they decided to retire. And us, the grandchildren, we didn't want to leave the family hands and we changed the name to La Vaca, we remodeled, we changed the menu, we added the patio. Uh, six years later, we're La Vaca. That's why Pilsen is the best, and that's why it was so great for us being Mexican and staying here, and hopefully it stays Mexican forever. Oh, oh wow. wow! So this is queso, this is ribeye. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I'm already in love. And I'm a little turnt from all these margarita pictures. We're good, so I'm not mad at them. Is this a fish? I suppose you'd be bacon wrapped shrimp. Oh, this is a shrimp, yeah. holy crap, it's good. So I'm not used to eating like these kind of tacos. I like the kind of twist they put on it. Like they very much like made it their own in a certain regards because I don't really eat bacon wrapped, shrimp bacon wrapped anything, especially in taco form. So I'm pleasantly surprised. So Pilsen, this location in particular, owned by a family for the last 50 years. Grandparents have now passed the torch on to the grandkids. They made certain renovations, they made certain changes. And I wanna say I can't help but feel because to the changing of the times and changing of the neighborhood, do you feel that there's a shift going on within Pilsen and within Chicago as a whole? I think it's been happening in the city in general. I think that with Pilsen it's been a really slow process because there's been a bigger fight, I want to say, like against a lot of those changes. But I think at least for in Chicago, it seems very intentional the way that like neighborhoods change. Like this neighborhood is now going to be like a sort of punk, trendy oasis. Pilsen is more of like now considered the, an artsy district, even though it always has been. Like what I really love about Chicago is that it's big city. But once you like plug into community, it becomes small town. If you can plug into a community in the city, like people will support you, like they will. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely like one of the neighborhoods that people talk about that has been super gentrified. We're right up there with Humble Park, which is a Puerto Rican neighborhood. Heat Pilsen as like fight for it as much as you can because it's intentional. No, that's what's up. I love like we gotta like put our foot down. And like, and like elect people and put people in place to like hold those standards that the community holds. That respect and, and preservation of it all and like, you know, seeing it as something you just can't just jump in for the taking. Damn, you know? we Meeches. each get a meat <laughs> Time out Chicago, this is like the top three michelada out of the entire city. Oh my god. I love the margaritas. We, this is just three flavors out of like 14. I love the bacon wrapped shrimp taco. That was delicious. The uh, ribeye with the queso. This is all like dope. They're really putting their own spin on it. Javier, what was your favorite? Uh, la Vaca. La Vaca? Nice. How you, what's your favorite so far? What's your, she's over here still eating. She hasn't even stopped eating. The bacon wrapped shrimp. You ready? Mm -hmm. Can you eat some more? Uh, yes. They got beer too, so we keep drinking.
All right, location number two, yo. Mighty Bells, this is the corner store. This is the spot. The corner store of your Mexican dreams. It's a corner store, by the way, not a bodega. My name is Alejandro Vanda. We're right here in Pilsen at Carniceria Maribel. We've been in business since 1990. It's a family-run business. My grandma has been running it since 1990 with the help of uncles of mine, cousins of mine. I've been here since I was like 14, 15, helping out. Lately, I think in the last two years is when I took complete control over the business. Far back as I can remember, there's always been people from the neighborhood that have come by, supported. From the time I was five, six years old, I could remember certain customers that still come to this day. We've been very well received in the community. We've been very fortunate because of that. We're a convenience store that has a little bit of everything. So we do sell alcohol, we sell beer, tequila. We have a little small section where we sell a little bit of produce. We've been a butcher shop since 1990, and then in just the recent year or so, we incorporated a taqueria in the back to help maximize ourselves. We have four delicious tacos. We got the carnitas, we got the pastor, we got the asada, and we got the shrimp too. The shrimp's not even on the menu, son. It's crazy. I'm ready to dive in. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. That carnita meat is so good. You got the Milagro tortilla, just iconic here in Chicago. And this carnita, it reminds me when I was like a kid. My mom would get the carnita meat and I'll just keep picking at it. She gets so pissed at me because it's like, it's supposed to be for the tacos for dinner for later. And I'll just like be picking at it, picking at it, picking at it. Like this is that, you know this is from a Mexican spot. Why are spots like this important? They're good because I feel like it makes it part of your everyday experience. Literally, you have to buy toilet paper. So you come in and you get toilet paper, but you're also like, oh, I might as well get a taco. Yeah, part of what I feel makes like Chicago and Mexican culture, Mexican food. So, you know, like quote unquote authentic. We are mad far from Mexico. And I feel like that distance encourages people to hold on to what they remember from home, to hold on to recipes, to hold on to cultura. I feel like that's what ends up getting you so many places like Maribel. Mm -hmm. The carne asada taco is delicious. And sometimes I'm in LA and I'm like, you guys got some good tacos, but I don't know. There's some spots in Chicago and then like, I swear. And they me. don't believe you, right? They don't, they don't the believe music you. Stops. Like, it's that no. distance. Like, yeah. mm -mm. People had to really hold on to the culture that they had. So when you have places like this, people in the community support it. They know who owns it and they know who goes to it and they try and keep they it alive. They know we're underrated uh -huh. in the rest of the country, so we put on for ourselves. Hey, that's what's up. I'm get diving into uh, the pastor. Our pastor is my favorite. Mm, yeah. It's probably also the most unhealthy. Yeah. Well, but that's why it's my favorite. I'm gonna get shrimp. Creamy sauce on it. They got creamy sauce, and these are some full ass shrimps too. Mm-hmm. This is amazing. And I'm just, I feel so blessed to be here, to be repping, being like half Mexican, growing up in Chicago. Yo, thank you so much, man. Thank you guys for coming by. How'd you guys like the food? It was, it was freaking delicious. So oh my God, it was <laughs> really amazing. Good. And the cool thing about it is like, this is such a neighborhood spot and the fact you provide such high quality tacos, which these are like legit tacos. Cause you come in and be like, oh, it's a liquor store. They got this, they got that. Like how good are the tacos really? They're good ass. Tacos, it just shows how like invested you are and how much love you put in your food because I because we taste it. I appreciate it a lot that you guys came by and check this out. You see, we're very small, kind of hidden. My team's back there always uh, putting in the work, and you know, I'm glad that I was able to come out and, and you guys were able to taste it in the food. I'm inspired and I'm like excited that there's people like you that are like taking on, passing the torch, and keeping it going. Uh, for the food scene here and everything else, too. So thank you so much. Anybody else that's out there that's listening, you know, go and support. Go and support, you know, your local businesses. Work. How can this experience get any more Chicago? Have you ever had Malort? I have not. Actually. He has not had Malort. He hasn't had Malort. He can't leave. That doesn't need to happen. We're not letting him go. I guess it's we're going to have Malort. It's a good thing you're at a liquor store. <laughs> 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 Slash Slash butcher shop. Slash pet store? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Chicago. Chicago. Oh, God! <laughs> That's good. That's good as hell. I should have known off the plastic top how good it was going to be. Oh, my God. Why does it stay on my tongue? Oh. Exactly. It stayed oh. in the back of my throat. Bow like.